Good morning here from Casa del Golfo. It's another beautiful day in El Salvador, which is pretty, it happens a lot. <laughs> We're gonna go have breakfast this morning and then we're gonna take you on a wild adventure. This is one of the big reasons why you come to Casa del Golfo. Just gonna have to wait and see what it is. Si, un café para él y un agua caliente para mí. Food is on the way. <laughs> breakfast in the view? In a view. This breakfast is actually included with your stay. We got the parfait extra because we were feeling extra hungry today and we want to be prepared for our adventure. Gracias. Hola, amigo. Such a nice boat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's Nicaragua right there. Right? Oh, wow. That's that there? Cosiguina. That, that's a big yeah. crater. I mean, the, that tip you see on the on the right side of that's the right side of the crater. So the crater. Stands all the way to the left, the the flat part of the of the volcano. Cool. That's Banget Island. That's the biggest island we have. That's where we're gonna go fishing. Okay. The one that, that's more the southern one. The other one here is Conchawita. This Conchawa's middle sister. Conchawita. Conchawa is the one that you guys went to at the whatever uh, Spirit of the Montaña. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Tamarindo. Ah. That's all that is on Tamarindo and La Peluda so, It's all beautiful. Part of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. There's actually people who live on this island, but they live on the other side of the island. Uh, it would be just crazy to live in such a remote place. I'd be like, hey, where do you even get water from? Ooh. First time? He's clearly never done that before. No. Never. Once in his life. Uh, you can see the little fish jumping around. I think he called them hound fish. But he also saw a barracuda, which is like a long, like more like pinny uh, style fish. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. If you're gonna come for a fishing tour, this is the guy you want to come with. So right now they're gonna drag some fish behind and then see what we pick up. Your hair picked up some wind though. I know, hair. look at this stuff. <laughs> like three inches tall. <laughs> My hair also picks up some wind. <laughs> How's it feel, babe? Strong. <laughs> come on, you got it. Ah! You got it, go. Come on, you got I it. can't do it! Come on, babe! There you go, keep going! Keep going! You're almost there! A little bit more! You're almost there, keep going, this find it! Yeah, where'd it go? Straight in the front, there it is! There it is, pull it up! Yeah, he got you, he got you. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. 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 Wow! <laughs> hey, I got your face. Oh you my so god! You were so soft. <laughs> Just remember, it's always important to catch and release. And that's what keeps the fish here, and that's what gives us the opportunity to be out here and catch them. Put them back in so that way we can have a great time.
<laughs> and don't worry, there'll be plenty of drinks for you too. So right now we're surrounded by El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras. It's up, we're like kind of trapped right in the middle, and there's great fishing right here. So the guys in the back are going for Goliath Grouper, which I will not be taking over the pulling in because apparently they're massive and incredibly strong. <laughs> One of the really cool things about the grouper is that when you catch them, they're in the reef, like they're by the reef. So when they grab onto your hook, you have to reel in really fast and pull them up because if you don't, they'll lock their gills into the reef and then basically you have to cut your line because it's impossible to get them out. This island right here is where the birds come to nest. There's literally hundreds of them flying in the sky. And if you're here around sunset, they would all come back home to spend the night on the island and it would just be madness. Kind of reminds me of Birdshit Island in Alaska. Welcome to Gull Island, an ornithobian's worst nightmare. The birds are so loud. As many as 20,000 different birds call this rock home. With nine different species, this is definitely a bird watcher's paradise. Us, not so much. The smells and the sounds are very intense. Extremely. Duck and cover! Bubba, there you go. Now you can see him for sure. The Florida boys, dude. I fish. New York? I actually fish a lot more in New York. There's tons of fish in New York. That was so soft and gentle. So far, the score is Alex 1, Frank 0. <laughs> The best part of taking a fishing trip with Casa del Golfo here in El Salvador is that you get the world-class experience of Mariano and his team at Casa del Golfo. Whether you're an experienced pro or just learning how to fish, the team will make you feel right at home on the water. They can't guarantee the fish are gonna bite, but they can certainly make it easier to catch when they do. And the one thing that is guaranteed is that you and your friends are gonna have a great day out on the water. He had to have a couple beers, that's why he couldn't catch anything. Good job. This is your catch for the day. Give me a huge. So that's your first catch of the day, right? He's so cute. That's the cutest little fish I ever saw. <laughs> we're uh, pulling up onto the beach here. We're getting the cooler out because we're going to have a lot of cervezas for ourselves. And uh, we're going to get drunk. <laughs> you all know that's not true, but we're gonna go hang out on the beach, go for a swim, have some lunch. Have some lunch. The uh, the fish that we caught were awesome, and it was a lot of fun pulling some in. But uh, we we didn't get too crazy. We did lose one thing. It's unfortunate, but hey, it happens. Go go. <laughs> That was, uh, that was okay. <laughs> Woo! That felt good. Professor. Little lunchbox. How cute is that? <laughs> Tony Paco. Tony Paco. Paco. <laughs> 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 That's the good stuff right there, boy. Oh, it's that mahi-mahi. 
It's a beachy right there. Mm. That was the best one yet. <laughs> I'm someone who actually gets seasick pretty easily, but for whatever reason, on Mariano's boat with Casa del Golfo, I felt fine the entire day. The team is so good at maneuvering the boat and making sure that we're never in a place for too long where the waves are gonna be making your tummy trouble. We didn't catch much today, but we had an amazing time out on the water. And that's what fishing is all about. Getting out in nature, enjoying the beautiful views, and catching a fish or two when you can. We think this was an amazing experience, and anybody who loves to fish is certainly gonna love to fish here in El Salvador. After a long day of fun in the sun, we were absolutely tuckered and so glad to be returning to the world-class resort at Casa del Golfo. These pools are very refreshing. Not in like a they're too cold way, but like it's very hot and they're perfect temperature. <laughs> we had an amazing time here at Casa del Golfo and we can't wait till we get to come back. Just like that, we're back to van life and on the road. We're gonna miss you, Casa del Golfo. You at FNA. A massive thank you to each and every one of our Patreons. We love you guys so much and we are so excited to send you all some swag. We've got it ordered in the mail and it's gonna be heading your way soon. So if you wanna get in on the action, Come and join us over on Patreon today. It's totally F and A.